one of the things I do in my dotage is to hop on buses with day trippers around the place and take them around and you know, do a history tour of Kilcoy and talk about Yowies. And it's amazing, you hardly talk to one group of people where there isn't somebody who claims to have seen one or knows someone who has or has some history with Yowies. And look, I think it's undeniable that they've certainly been around. I don't know whether they still are, but Yowie Bay in Sydney, they like that's what it's called, and Yowie is Aboriginal for Big Airy Man, so I right. think yeah. they've been here. Yeah. Uh, Kilcoy, while we claim to be the Yowie capital of the world, uh, we haven't seen as many as some other places. But in 1979, two schoolboys from Brisbane went camping along the river near Kilcoy. They heard the Yowie, they followed it. They claim that they have seen the Yowie, and I don't know how many people have seen one since then in Kilcoy, but do you still get reports from people who have seen something that is a little bit unexplainable? I do. Um, I'll give you the most recent one I had. I was addressing the people in the information centre in Kilcoy there one day. There's about a dozen or 14 there. A lot of them haven't been in Kilcoy that long and didn't know the legend, and I was asked to tell them the story. And when they, when I'd finished... One woman sidled up to me and she said, I've never told anyone this. They always start like that. <laughs> and she said, but my daughter and I were driving through this way one night, about oh, two years ago, and uh, we just came up to a bridge and there was one on the road and it turned and looked at us and it was definitely, that's what we think it was. And then it turned and went down into the creek and I said, and whereabouts was that? And she said, just as we were about to cross Sandy Creek. Now that was within oh, a kilometre of where those two school kids claimed to have seen it. And she'd never heard of them before I told her about them. There is another one that I didn't tell you about. It was only six or eight months ago. And look, I've done probably three or four interviews on for TV things. One was Animal Planet from America. They sent people out here and went all over Australia doing stories and, and appeared on Animal Planet. Another one recently had a, a sighting and they came and interviewed me and then we went out and I listened to them interview the woman that claimed to have seen it. You're not going to believe this, but it was only about a, a kilometre the other side of the Sandy Creek Bridge where, uh, <laughs> where all those sightings have occurred. And, and it disappeared, was in her backyard, this woman, in the middle of the night when she went outside and, uh, and went down into the Sandy Creek. You know, every time you think, oh, well, it can't possibly be around, you'd think with settlement and that people yeah. would have run into them or seen them or found a dead one or something. But every, just when you think, well, that's an interesting story, another one comes. <laughs>